previously in the Big Brother house. Live when I'm alive and sleep when I'm dead, basically. She talks too much. You're telling me. Actually, your energy disgusts me sometimes because I don't know where you get it from. I just do not stress. I am careless and free. How do people perceive me? Negative. I hate negativity. Jesus, I'm negative now. You never smile and I hate that. It's like you're intimidated by my happiness. Tonight on Big Brother, the housemates put their dancing shoes on. One, two, three. Vesna takes the gloves off. When you get around the guys, you become a little bitch. And Rita lets it all out. And I feel you've disrespected me. And because you f me. Yeah. yeah. So why not tell me to my face instead of telling everybody else? Go. <coughs> Three, two, one. Let's go. This is Big Brother. <laughs> All housemates to the diary room. Hey, get your single off then. For this week's task, the housemates have to become tap dancers. <laughs> Big Brother has supplied them with tap boots, props and stages to choreograph and perform a tap dog style show. Oh my god! This is Big Brother. Housemates, it's time to tap dance. Yeah! <laughs> oh, this is exciting. We even get special tap socks. One, two, three, four. The housemates have to divide into three groups and perform separate routines. David, Vesna and Christy all have some dance experience and lead the others. Five, six, stop. Yeah. Has anyone sort of got that? Yeah, yeah that's good. <laughs> all right, so do you want to go group by group and see? Yeah, yeah. and then okay. you can tell us if we're so all right. <laughs> This is like my dad. He does. Ding. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, and three, then people could be going. four, five, six. Stop. Has everyone sort of got that? Yeah. Housemates, your practice is over. No, no, no. I can understand. No, you can take your because, boots off and still stay Because up this here. one is a very soft step. Yeah. Don't tap. Use Sorry. the boots. It's over. To show take them over. As this week's shopper chef, Christy prepares lunch alongside the house baker, Rita. Just my summer clothes, move them all back. I miss already. my friends. Oh, yeah. I just feel that I talk to my girlfriends about everything and I know that they won't think less of me. And you're kind no of one thinks less of you in here. Oh, I totally know. It can be like, you know, it also depends how you treat other people too. Because you'll get treated the way you treat other people. That's not just in here, that's in, in life in general. Whether it's work, school, uh, sporting club, anything. I'm trying to work but out why there's frustration between us two, Rita. Um, I don't know, I guess it's because, like, I can say that you're a type of person that says things to one person and then says something to someone else about them. I talk about my feelings. Yeah, but instead of confronting the person about yeah. it, you See, tell everyone else about it. What I do it. is, I don't, I can't, I need advice. Yeah. Mm. Then I confront. Yeah, but then you never confront. You just keep talking to other people about it. Because I know you better than you think I know you. And it's wiser and probably more mature or probably more... Um... But in here you can't get away from anybody. And I, I hate confronting people. I hate I confrontation. I'm not you'll, get, you'll get that skill. But that in skill. here, confrontations is, is a little bit different. I mean, you're living with people that you're not supposed to get along with. Not and then you're supposed to confront them. See, that's negative attitude. Like, oh! No, it is. Because you're saying, come in here and not get along with. OK, so you're saying... I came in here saying... with, the opinion, with, with my attitude to get along with everybody. Not everybody is going to get along. Oh, it's yeah. not supposed to be that no, way. And you, people you have ways... different ways they address it. It may look different to you, but to the person... Like, everyone in here is different, OK? Yes, oh, you yeah, like confrontation. 
I don't. I never yeah, have. but then you've got to find ways so to deal with it. So in my way to deal with that, I speak to other people, get advice, and sometimes their advice yeah, says, you know, you don't need to raise your voice to get protective about it. I, speak uh, about it at mature level. Don't this is what you do to me. You really frustrate the out of me, Rita. Because you've been really over it. Yeah, but why are you raising your voice? Don't get all protective about it. Because that's just how I feel, okay? Yeah. You frustrate me that much, I feel I have to do that. So, that's me. That's my opinion. Yeah, that's fair enough. But you don't have to get all protective about it and all immature and iffy about it. But is raising your voice immature? Oh, apparently to Rita it is. Um, I think it is, but I've grown up in a different environment to you guys. Exactly. Why, why I've got like so many morals and so many standards. Are you saying that we don't have morals and we don't have no. standards? But mine are different. The way you project mine are different. Makes me feel oh. Mine are different. But you say you're saying to me, I've got high morals, high standards, and I think I'm I have high morals. Just but yeah. mine are different morals. Like, what are your I, morals? Because I difference. The thing I don't well, get. Well, I don't like disrespect, and I feel you've disrespected me. And because you. Me. Yeah. So yeah. why not tell me to my face instead of telling everybody else? Because I can't work it out what frustrates me about you. So talk to me about it. Don't talk to everyone else about it. It frustrates me when you feel everything has to be all your way. It doesn't. But that's how I feel. Okay. That's it's how you whenever talk I talk to you, I feel that you don't listen. I feel that just the way you you make me feel like I feel like I'm actually 19. Hold yeah. on, can I speak to like, Christy about this? Just me and Christy for a minute, please. I'd stay out here. Are they fighting? Yeah, Christy and Rita. Oh, I knew it. That's really? No, stay here. No, no. stay here, Vess. Why? Because no. <laughs> it's not nice. About? Oh, they're sorting out. Christy's like, and he's like, don't say, you know, if you've got a problem, you can say to my face. And, Rita, and Christy goes, you never listen to anyone. And I don't know why you frustrate me so much, but you think everything's got to be your way. After the break, Rita's still on the rampage. I know a lot of people may be thinking the same way, but I'm the only one that's got balls to say it. To evict Kate, dial 1902 555563 or SMS Kate to 191010. Voting costs 55 cents, including GST. Calls from mobiles higher. Voting and SMS lines close at 8pm Australian Eastern Standard Time this Sunday, the 17th of July. For terms and conditions, go to bigbrother.3mobile.com.au. Though. Yeah. But why is it that you always talk about, you always remind me that it's my age and when you were my age you were like this, as if I feel like I'm Because I'm trying too. to make you understand me. I'm not trying to make you feel like you're a bit below or above. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to make below. you understand me. Why do I feel below then? Because why do secure. I feel passionate? Because you feel below. But then why, but Christy feels that way, so why is that mean she's insecure because too? Because you guys aren't... My, what I see is that you guys are insecure about who you are and you're learning about who you are. So when someone says something, that's why you get so protective about it, because you're insecure. Oh, see, there we go again. Just, oh, you know, really? one day, oh, look at the same Melanie's. I'm trying to help you. One day, you're going to look back and go, my gosh, this is this, this is that. And I'm only saying it because I've, I've seen it so many times. And walking away is not a good way of dealing either. So let's just, you know, it's let's true. just be good to each other. But the difference is I'll say things that people are thinking when other people are thinking it and telling everybody else it's person it We've got two weeks to go. But two I weeks guess that's what makes me good at my job. And that's what and makes I me say, good. And I do, but the thing is, I think I, I do exactly I've got those the same other people lack. Well, It's true, Mel. I never once I didn't like you, but you get this yeah, hookup that I don't. It's not that, Rita. I just don't understand. Why you yes, it doesn't really me. matter because I don't really want to talk about it because I think But I do just, want to talk about it. I need opinion. to get defensive about it. Of course, if you're going to turn around to me in front of the whole group and call me negative, what do you expect me to do? Go, thanks for that. I've tried to explain you. To haven't you haven't even justified it to me. I don't, I've you can't just... To you Can why? we stop talking about this because it's really done I my know. head in. I, I'm happy to stop it, but Mel keeps going on. You can't just call someone something and not and just say that. All right, without Rita, you can't reason. just call someone without saying that, and Mel, that's the way you feel. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> there. Do we have a solution? Don't yeah. take it to heart. Please don't take it to heart, okay? But what you've just said is turned around and sort of said... I don't want to talk about it anymore, okay? I know you're trying to help, and I appreciate you trying to help. I just don't think you can back yourself up, Rita, and that's why you're you know saying what, Christy, I don't want to talk about it. I suggest you just don't say anything either. All I'm saying to you, Christy, is you know how you say you're honest, and you like, you know, you say things people face? I don't think you do. That's just my opinion. Once again, don't get defensive okay. about it. I know a lot of people may be thinking the same way, but I'm the only one that's got the balls to say it. 
And that's all, I, you know, it's not, it's just an opinion. I need a coffee. I'm gonna talk to him now. Please. No more, please, guys. See, I voice opinions. I can't deal with this don't. anymore. I really, really can't deal with it. I really just, yeah, just gotta stop. No, because I'm not ready to talk about it yet. When I'm ready, I know I'm yeah, ready. Yeah, but... It no, just, it, it, oh, when it makes sense in my head, then I'll make sense. Yeah. Oh, okay, all I was going to say is, mm. I do like you, and you know that. If I yeah. don't like you, I'll tell you I don't like you. Yeah. I... I see things at a different angle, and I know that. I don't mm. know why. Please don't take it to heart. You know what? It's, me it, it's meant to be like this. If it wasn't meant to be, it wouldn't have happened like <laughs> this. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I don't want us to have any more tension, because I told you that. I all right? I don't... No, seriously, I don't want to have any more tension because I told you I love him. Mine's not. Mm. Can we talk? Yeah. Okay. So I just feel, I told no, you. Let me, let me get comfortable. Okay. So I've just been getting frustrated because I do feel that my opinion isn't being heard and I hate being looked down on as if a 19 year old girl with no experiences. Yeah. And. It really, really hurt when you said you know a lot about me than I think. Yeah. And, like, I guess when I say that, I can see more to What did you, you mean by that? Oh, what I'm saying is when you, how you are superficially, so how everyone else can see you on the outside, I can sense how you're actually feeling on the inside. Right, because I took I mean? it as that you know a lot of, more about me. <coughs> and when you said you have seen no, I me talk about other people. Yeah. That really, really cut deep to me. Oh, okay. I was really embarrassed, yeah. and mm. I'm not happy with how I handled your me. Yeah. I'm really oh, not. Was I. And but that's I why just... I thought I wanted to speak to Melanie first, and then yeah. you, because I think she was a bit more mm. uptight. Yeah. And I just, but it is a learning curve for me, yeah. and I do hate confrontation. But I think the bottom line is, with you, yeah. I didn't feel like I had a trust or I didn't feel comfortable yeah. and that's why I did speak to other people about you. I, yeah. I was telling them, <laughs> you know, she's frustrating me, I don't know why. <laughs> I'm glad that so I this... do feel that the tension is good. Coming up, how long can the truce last? I'm going to talk to her about it. Christy's going to learn to be confrontational. To a big Tim, dial 1902 or SMS Tim to 191010. Last night, Christy and Greg slept in the same bed together, and this morning, Bessner didn't let it pass by without comment. Oh, did insane. you feel uncomfortable when Bess said to you today in the kitchen? You and Craig doing in bed. I was just like, hmm. yeah. I felt really uncomfortable. Because we weren't doing anything. No, but I did. And we didn't even kiss. I was kiss. just like, that's the thing, we didn't even like, kiss. No, I was like me. No one ever did that with you and dogs. No one. But she does that a lot. Oh, I just thought it was really weird. I'm going to talk to her about it. Really sure. Christy's going to learn to be confrontational. It's not confrontational. It isn't. What is it? Um, is it bitching now? No, it's just you need to, don't think, because you hate the word I'm, confrontation yeah. and you fear it, you need to change it. Okay. You are addressing issues. Addressing issues, okay. Addressing issues, okay. You're going to start addressing issues. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'll things. just bring it up casually. True. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> How funny is it though? Like the dynamic of what happened, it was. The boys are outnumbered and the girls are like six to three. And now we're getting outnumbered. The boys ran very smoothly. Yeah. All the enjoyment and fun. Girls, you know each other. Yeah, well, we, we outnumbered and we were awesome. Oh, we've had been the whole way. Yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry. really uncomfortable. Yeah, you're really uncomfortable. This morning when you said I heard you and Greg go mwah, 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 mwah. Oh, I feel like you're Christy, you have said that before. No, but I really did today because I want, we didn't. I wish, um, there's some more comments. I, I don't know, I'm head. just being really, really sensitive today. It's not like I go on and on and on about it. I did it once. With Greg, I <laughs> hate <laughs> when you said that. Me. I really did. Because <laughs> I know it makes him uncomfortable. Make and that makes me there. uncomfortable. Do you want one? I'll get you one. Excuse me. <clears throat> I don't know what it is. Do you really want one? I'm really not dealing with this very well at all. <sighs> I 
let it all out because I'm letting everything out and we're going to feel so much better. I just think everything's really emphasised in here. It, it is. is. Everything is it so emphasised and everything is so... Because we can't run. Mm -hmm. Everyone's it's... so touchy about everything. You know, and I'm just sick of that. I'm sick to death of the um, farting in your face. I'm sick mm -hmm. to death of... Don't mean to stop that. I really hate it, Christy. Okay. I really can't stand it. And when, especially when you get around the guys, you become a little bitch. What? You do. You become so... You become like this different person. You become like... That really offends me, Vers. No, no, no. Really to does. me, to me, like, I feel... I feel, um... What like she's saying... You're not my friend when you do that. I feel... She wants you to bat for one side. And when she feels as though when you get around yeah. the guys that you're not batting for her team, just like we all the whole thing them. with I hot dogs. I can't trust you when you're with them. Okay. That you're gonna, I'm thinking, OK, she's, she's going to get it in on their little games and she's going to do that. So, because if the guys were to do, do something like as That's the hardest that, thing in this group is that all the guys stick together, but us girls, we never stick together. We don't. Ever. We don't have a close bond. We don't. Like they do. And I hate that. Yeah, same. Do you know what I mean? We never... We always split up. We didn't have, we always have not had arguments. The closest one would have been me and Sparrow Boy. Yeah, that's it, that's the biggest one we've had. I mean, him is, oh, we're being civil and talking. And yeah, you, you, can, you know, but you know, you, you don't see what I but you no, still we do. We don't, but. Well, everything that you've both had to say, you've both said it to each other. Exactly. And you're like, well, we're not going to let that get in the way of still having a good time, okay. you know. <laughs> Today, so many things have just come out, opened my eyes, and it, I feel it's a bit overwhelmed. overwhelming for you. It is. Yeah. Because I've never noticed that before. Yeah. And now you're noticing, and, and that now hurts. Now I'm saying it, it hurts me because I'm hurting other people in turn. <laughs> <You've got laughs> Who are you hurting in turn? <laughs> I am. I'm hurting other people in turn. And I don't like doing that, and it really. Oh, maybe come here, please. Come here. I'm so teary, Dave. You're a project. I'm crying over nothing. We're so pathetic. Next on Big Brother, the girls are all friends again, and the boys are plain confused. Bugged if I understand the majority of them. To a big Dean, dial 1902 555561 or SMS Dean to 191010. They're, they're totally fake. The twins nominated Vesna for two points this week, and she also gave her two points to them. It really shocked me that they were up on Monday. Really? Yeah. Really? Uh huh. Didn't me. Hmm? Didn't. It's all an act, I feel. Do you see how Dave, a lot of the time, always grits his teeth to shut up? Like, mm -hmm. he doesn't really say what he feels. Mm hmm. Hmm. He's not that Hmm? They're not as nice as what they seem, as what they possess yeah. to be. They're not. They're confusing me. They're hot and cold. Huh? They're hot, hot and cold. Logan David. Big brother. Just got a um, few questions to ask you. Certainly. Um, first question. When these females come into this house, did they have a manual? They bring a manual in, manual in with them so they can learn how to read them? Or do we make the guess how to read them? Because it's buggered if I understand the majority of them. They were probably told, go in there, put a smile on your face, do everything right, don't complain. Blah, blah, blah. And that's why they do everything without complaining. <sighs> Doesn't it make you angry? It makes me mad. Now I think about it, it makes me really mad. That's why I said no. No one will just... Their buttons haven't been pushed. Mm-hmm. What could I do to push their buttons? Hate, they hate confrontation. <laughs> Have you learned anything about them? I think that's what my brother just said, just keep your mouth shut. Don't just... It's come to the stage I'm just going to have to agree with them, everything they say for the next 
duration for the duration I'm in this house. If not, like they, I'm quite sure they all had a good discussion about us males and about how we're not open our hearts and we're nice and whatever they think we are. They don't deserve my. What are you meant to do, mate? In the house, like, like this, just sit there and listen to them. your wearing, isn't it? Where'd you purchase that from? Where? Oh, right, yeah. Anyway, I've got to run. I've got to meet some friends for lunch. Goodbye. Tomorrow night on Big Brother, the battle between Vesna and the twins rages on. I find her sometimes very, very, very selfish. Yeah. She just deal, worries about herself and he's completely lazy. Mm. To evict Rita, dial 1902 555579 or SMS Rita to 191010. This is juicy stuff. Oh, I love it. Almost as much as what Gritter wears. Take a fresh listen. The Matt and Joe Show. Weekdays from 6 on 1019 The Fox. This program brought to you from Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.